Welcome to FantasyVictory.com, and last week, Charge, three for three with the sleeper picks. You know, it's sad that it took this long to go for three for three. I, we had several two for threes. It took until last week for us to go three for three on our sleepers. We hit on Andy Dalton, who threw multiple touchdowns for only the second time all year. We hit on Bobby Rainey, who topped 100 yards, and then Jarvis, uh, Jarvis Landry scored. So... We'll try to go three for three again here. It's not easy. We'll give it a shot. Yeah, so sleeper quarterback this week, a guy everyone's been talking about, Mark Sanchez in that Eagles offense against the Panthers. Yeah, you know, look, I, I like Sanchez here. He looks like a good fit for the Eagles offense. In the preseason, he completed 80% of his passes. Last week, he came in cold and threw two touchdowns in relief. Carolina's allowed multiple touchdowns to opposing quarterbacks in seven of nine games. Only three teams have allowed more passing touchdowns than they have. And maybe best of all, Eagles offensive line, Finally, fully intact with the return of superstar guard Evan Mathis. Yeah, I know, Sanchez looked terrible as a Jet, but let's not rule out that the Jets organization has the ability to bring out the worst in a lot of players. Uh, we'll call this one the no-look blind sleeper. Yeah. Charles Sims, sight unseen against the Falcons. Used Bobby Rainey last week, and I prefer Bobby Rainey, to be clear, but we'll go deeper now to Charles Sims going up against Atlanta. Now, Sims is the big physical third-round rookie for the Buccaneers. Bobby Rainey is to get on the safer bet, but Sims is super tempting. This one is mostly about the opponent, though. The Falcons have allowed the most rushing touchdowns, and it's not close. They're allowing the third most rushing yardage. And here's your angle on, these, on the big-bodied Charles Sims. These bruising north-south runners have scored nine of the 12 rushing touchdowns that the Falcons have allowed. That includes Mark Ingram, Andre Williams, Matt Asiata, Jeremy Hill, Bernard Pierce. So... I like him as the bruising goal, uh, goal, uh, goal line option. All right. Yeah. Another potentially deep sleeper at wide receiver, kind of the third option in Carolina, Jericho Cotri. Jericho Cotri, yes. We're <laughs> going deep again here. Degree of difficulty very high. He has not scored this year, and his quarterback is looking terrible, Cam Newton. But the Eagles allow the fourth most yards to wide receivers, the third most touchdowns to wide receivers, and depth receivers have had a ton of success against the thin Eagles secondary. For example... Touchdowns have been scored by DeAndre Hopkins, John Brown, Kenny Britt, Stevie Johnson, Pierre Garçon and Deshaun Jackson, whoever you want to consider the number two there, Alan Hearns, and country has been targeted at least five times in every game for the last month. So, roll all that together, and there's your super deep sleeper, Jericho Cotri. Yeah, Cotri along with Mark Sanchez and the rookie getting his first crack, Charles Sims, your three sleepers this week. Church was three for three last week. Let's see if he can do it again. Let's see if you can pick up a win. Remember, all the rankings are at fantasyvictory.com.